It's gonna. This coming hole. from the guy who thinks Herndon isn't a real place. No, it fuck isn't. you. No, it isn't. Okay, we're not doing this. Okay, call them the Seattle Majiras and make Majira Strawberry the mascot. Hi then everyone, be... I'm Majira. Then it wouldn't be the Seattle Majiras; it would be the Seattle Strawberries. Which actually, <laughs> that wouldn't be too bad. Lifty, if you there's think about nothing it. strawberry related there. Well, there's nothing Kraken related there either. Yes, there is. There, there are octopi in Seattle, okay? Like what? There are octopi in Seattle. What? The highways? That's in not the sound, octopi. Yes, yes. No, in the sound. no, no. I don't believe that. The Puget Sound, there are octopi there. I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, anything that comes out of Seattle, honestly, a, a fucking, t- uh, a, a, what is it? A baseball team? What yes. was it again? It was the a baseball Mariners. team. Okay. So a, base, a, a baseball team that comes out of Seattle, and they need a name for it. And they name it fucking Octopi. This episode of Furry Frequencies is brought to you by Saab. We're not dead yet. We still make jets. Sob. Hello and welcome to Furry Frequencies, the soundtrack to your furry life. I'm Lifty, and joining us on the podcast this evening is Silox. Hey, how's it going? And IBM. Sup? And we've got a wide range of topics that we'll be touching on tonight. Uh, We're going to be talking about the save our cisk campaign that has Mm -mm. been on social media in the furry sphere and uh, we're gonna also talk about uh, kobe bryant rest in peace please um of course that's been that's been news that that uh kind of hit very hard on all of us over the past weekend and um also we uh wanted to talk about silox do you have anything else and and plant um yes um the thing called fursuiting as a native american we had um i believe over the weekend or friday someone uh posted pictures of themselves fursuiting as a native american and it caused quite the firestorm and a final topic that i have a fun one is we're going to select the name and the mascot of the new Seattle NHL team because Krakens is very weird and I don't know what the fuck a Kraken is but um, that's dumb for it's a either a team. massive octopus or something that fucks you up at a room party so alcohol or an octopi okay that makes sense yep you ever had Kraken never had octopi before you smacked your lips again yeah, you smacked it. Did not smack my lips. IBM, did, have you ever had Kraken before at a party? Like the the octopus. No. What? The liquor, the hard liquor, the forty five percent alcohol by volume liquor. Good I lord, I'm surprised both. I don't of you drink any of that pussy furries. shit. I'm surprised both of you call yourself furries and you never have, neither of you have heard about 40, what Kraken 40% is. I'm sorry, alcohol I drink by 45%. I don't drink that 45? That's a pussy shit right there. I don't drink fruity shit like that. Excuse me? Silox, yes. you are a lightweight. You can breathe <laughs> in vodka and get drunk off your ass. He's a lightweight with a really thick butt. Um, <laughs> I, wow. Oh my. Okay. Um, anyway, let's, uh, <laughs> Let's start off with um, our first topic, which is hashtag. Uh, I thought it was first shooting as a Native American. Okay, yes, first shooting as a Native American. Let's start off with that. So I have, if I may be the start, the first to start on this. I have a lot of friends that are actually Chickahominy Indians. Um, I live very close to the uh, Chickahominy Indian Reservation, which actually is soon going to be dissolved because the um, the state is going to now recognize these people as citizens, which is awesome because um, for the longest time, if you were Chickahominy Indian, you could only live on the reservation. Um, it's now not going to be that way anymore. So that's awesome. It's really good. There is oh, one person that I'm going to 
keep anonymous because they probably don't want their business being put out there but he is a prospective furry not yet decided if he wants to pursue it because of the beliefs of his tribe and his family so it's 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 one of those things that he's too scared to do because they're already under enough scrutiny and you know what that's understandable um a little bit of some background um so a furry a furry uh uh, furry fursuiter um, two years ago he made a video um, where he was fursuiting with his character he was um, beating on a, a tribal drum he was picking up a spear he was launching it he was um, bowing in front of, a, of what looks like a ram skull and um, of course this was all posted two years ago and it just now resurfaced uh, by way of another uh, furry Twitter user and that kind of kicked off an unbelievable firestorm of of anger towards uh, the original poster for actually creating that and 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 posting it um, and it, it's it's crazy to me that someone went back or some somehow got a hold of a video from two years ago and is just now speaking out about it um it's just it, it's kind of scary to to you know just see this unfold and all of a sudden you just get a barrage of of hate mail and and mess and hate messages for that for something that happened two years ago of course, you know, th there's a lot of things that, you know, the, two years, it's it's just, it doesn't matter if it's two years ago, two days ago, two weeks ago, whatever. A lot of, there's a lot of things out there that really shouldn't be forgiven no matter what, how much time passes. But this is kind of bizarre in that sense because, I mean, it is, it's a fursuiter who is basically creating a fursuit video of their character doing typical or what would be considered typical tribal activities and a lot of times what happens is the people that are doing this they're usually from from what i can tell they're usually from europe and eastern europe and the reason i say that is um this has happened numerous times before um not just this incident involving someone with dressing up in traditional native headgear but usually when it comes to western problems in the sense of things going on in america um you ha you'll have someone from that part of the world they'll say something or do something and it usually causes issues and i think the disconnect is over there they're not really understanding of how we are um how we view certain things as being taboo as opposed to where they are, they see it as them just expressing themselves. So I think for this guy, what he thought he was doing was merely expressing himself by donning a traditional, in his eyes, um, Native American attire and doing stereotypical Native American um Activities like scalping somebody, which I will say is totally, totally fucked up. Um, uh, you yeah, shouldn't do I would that. chime in, but see, I would, I, um, I'm, I'm choosing my words carefully here because I know that if I say the wrong word, we're gonna get the hate mail as well. Oh yes, but I already here's did. what I think. But, but, but here's here's what I'm trying to say here. Is that I would agree that at most it's uh, very distasteful. Uh, a lot of the photos that I've seen with 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 um, with fur fur suiters wearing their fur suits with um, stereotypical quote unquote stereotypical Native American garb, 
is at best very off-putting and very distasteful. I kind of feel like it's it, it just it, it cheapens the the culture and and I, I could see where people are, are getting a little miffed about or or it's it basically in poor taste when when people are cheapening a culture like this but I'm not hearing that that's the thing I'm not hearing when I'm hearing that the criticism levied against these people and there's also quite a culture difference between what Eastern Europeans believe regarding um, uh, native and tribal cultures and and depictions of native and tribal cultures and what we believe here in America on, on, the, on such a topic. Yes. So, again, to them, our issues may not seem as important as they are to us. So to them, when they see something, you know, like, well, they may not understand why we take issue to the idea of you dressing up in tradition, again, quote unquote, traditional Native American attire and trying to scout somebody. They may not, may not understand that. They may see that as entertainment, but we see that as problematic and disgusting and reprehensible and that's again because we understand our history we understand that for decades native americans have been used as uh well they've been seen as caricatures um they've been discriminated against and given the short end of the stick and their race has been used as props um, and unfairly depicted in popular forms of media so when we see that on display in this fandom we take outrage to that but when they see it they think it's entertainment they don't understand now I'm not trying to defend this guy um, oh, excuse me person because I don't know their gender um, but I'm just assuming that's what they're thinking um, I don't know why it is in that part of the world they think differently in terms of um, issues involving, I guess, different ethnicities and cultures and races. Um, I don't know why that is with them, why they're, I, I'd actually like to learn, I, I would actually enjoy knowing, learning why they're like that, um, because it seems like the rest of the West is more tolerant and understanding and sees why, you know, dressing up like that is messed up uh, I wouldn't say uh, I wouldn't we're say understanding, understanding uh people that live in America or any American real any person honestly would want to be tolerant but this up honestly upbringing uh religion is a big factor in a lot of people's beliefs uh you see if you're not used to it and you see somebody walking around with a with a tail attached to their belt or a collar and uh or hell even fursuit heads or paws which i've seen it, it makes people uncomfortable even me as a furry I, i'm 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 very strange about this i don't like to go out in public and show off that i have this very keen interest into the fur fan and uh, the furry fandom <clears throat> i wouldn't go out in a full fursuit even a partial or hell I wouldn't even put on a tail and just because I could I wouldn't do it because one uh, having so many connections with people in the government or, and uh, you never know who you're going to run in, run into that's going to see you doing it and then later on in life they're going to be like oh you're that weird kid you know and if that's something you like to do by all means do it it's your own life me personally this is my personal opinion on it as a furry and i see someone going around acting as a furry or doing the things that we do in public unprovoked no convention no no followers they're just doing it because they can it's odd so put that in perspective who's 
never been exposed to this kind of thing. Native Americans that are closed group, they're actually not open to modern ideas. Hell, even how do you think this is going to go down if we show up to Amish country in fursuits? They're they're going to pelt us. Yeah, you sure no. about that? Um, <laughs> I mean, not. I could see that. Yeah, the Amish. Again, I wanted to use my words carefully. Um, they don't have internet out there. They're good. Uh, well, no, not that. <laughs> the The Amish, they have a different culture and a different religion that is more so they see. Well, first of all, they see outsiders in a very negative light, as is. No. Um, and for us to even go to like Amish country and fursuit, that would just be a disaster. Like, you might get holy water thrown on you. I don't I would, know. I would burn. I'd most so furries bad. would burn. Even, well, not well. Not, well, yeah, most furries would burn. Yeah. But so, um, here's something I wanted to also add into this um, conversation. I I was reading a lot of the uh, the responses to. I think two fursuiters that are uh, they're both pol or they're they're both one of them is from the Czech Republic one of them is Polish, and um, and I was just reading through the t the tweet replies and of course, I, I what I've noticed is that the con that the um, conversation is not constructive. It's not uh, it, it's not actually making any inroads into why something might be off-putting or, or distasteful. Um, and of course, the, the, the people on the other side of the Atlantic, the, the actual fursuiters, they don't get it. They're, they're, they're not getting it because, the, because those who are responding to it are just being so vitriolic and so hateful, so rabid towards them that they just feel like they don't they don't have to respond to that they they can completely ignore it and move on and they're they're not being convinced that whatever they're doing is wrong mm -hmm. so the convert so the entire conversation is just going nowhere but imagine a, a conversation between two people going nowhere so Im multiply that by like a thousand and you get the magnitude of just how fruitless all this is. Nobody's actually learning anything. Nobody's actually, uh, nobody's actually, nobody's actually gaining anything from this experience. So the whole, this whole uh, shitstorm that that has been brewed upon these two fursuiters is all moot because. They're not gaining anything from this other than, oh, we're hated for all the wrong reasons. And people on on this side of the Atlantic are hating them because they believe they're Nazis or they're they're racist, whatever. And I'm just here thinking, wow, this conversation is just fucking stupid because it's going absolutely fucking nowhere i yeah. understand the the point on the left i'm understanding the point on the right but nobody's making any inroads everybody's just wanting to tear each other on the throats so i think the, the hell? general public just kind of looks us looks at us as weirdos um yeah you're not wrong the, about that the majority of the general public will kind of look at us as if we're a bunch of kinky fuckers with possibly some you know yeah but what i'm saying is they are not helping no they're not helping they're not helping to well give the, 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 the thing the... thing is furries don't help the cause either because you've got the nazi furs you've got the the white you know the white supremacist whatever you call them uh just you got more groups more controversial groups that i don't even touch on you know and, and they're all bad every single one of them Shame on fucking you. However, it is a reality in every group. I mean, politics is a big one. I'm not going to touch on that. Fuck you guys. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do believe that um, you, you, you do make quite a bit of a point. And um, I think 
furries are so definitely tough. trying to make a uh, uh, a concerted effort, a, like a, a real effort, to turn the furry community into a more homogenized society. But I also believe that they're taking the wrong approach every time when they do this because they just want to, they 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 want to homogenize the community by force. They want to force you to think the same way, act the same way, believe in the same group thing. Think. Exactly, groupthink, and groupthink is <sighs> groupthink strips away our individuality. And now going back to the uh, the 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 Polish fur suitor and the Czech fur suitor, I think one of them had a character that wasn't actually trying to depict any particular Native American tribe or group. Um, they were simply trying to give a more primitive feel for their character and, and give a more primitive background to their character. It just so happens that what they, they've they included into their character, a lot of it... Uh, um, share similarities with native american groups and right. when that happens yeah all right summarize this one up so we can move on to the next bullet point we've been on this one for about a good 30 minutes okay i mean i i, I think i'm done here yeah i mean i i feel like this is something that we don't want to talk too much otherwise somebody's gonna listen to us and then point it out and then get our words twisted and suddenly we're canceled yeah uh, cancel it or not, we we have to keep the show rolling. So next one on the list is save our some excuse me hashtag save our sisk. Oh boy, now so, this is a tricky one. <laughs> this this one um this topic is quite sensitive for some people. Uh, people who are aware of it are pretty well aware of how uh, well controversial it can be, and people who don't know. Yeah. Enjoy the ride. Uh, Silox, you can start us off. All right, so Save Our Sisk. Um, Save Our Sisk is a movement started to quite simply um, get a... <laughs> there, you did it again. What did I do? You smacked your lips. <laughs> it was no, I loud. did not. <laughs> No, I did not. It's in the recording. Don't edit it out. <sighs> oh, my God. Okay. It, it literally sounds uh, okay. like a big-ass booty clap. Okay. I... <laughs> a wet one, too. Uh... <laughs> anyway, <laughs> save our sis. Good. Swear <laughs> to God. Swear to God. Okay, so Save Far Sisk um, is about, quite simply, um, there was a there's a furry who um, was charged with, uh, God, someone is loud downstairs banging shit, uh, charged with... Um, it's the booty clap. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Charged with... Um, an allegation of rape, um, and they were, and they pled guilty, and they were put on a sex offender registry. So, the dude during... looks like a fucking perv. Like if you look at the picture, he he looks like a skinny little kid fucker. Yes. Um, well, that's that exactly said, what he is. But here's the thing: Sisk is a transgendered individual. I don't give a shit. Um, in the summer of 2008, they met a 16-year-old girl in the bathroom, and things went downhill from there. Okay, um, they are... Man, so, woman, transgender, alien, fucking whatever the fuck you are, you stick your dick or your vagina anywhere near a child, you are a sick fuck, and I will treat you as such. I don't care what the fuck you identify as, what religion you are, what fucking political status... Stop echoing... And that brings us to the twist of this story. Usually it would just end there, 
and we'd be like, oh yeah, this is another you know kid fucker that doesn't growly, deserve that doesn't not. deserve daylight hours. But no, there's an actual collective on the internet that is pleading to uh, prove that Sisk is completely innocent, and this is all based on rumors and uh, the pol uh, and. Oh, it's because the cops are bastards, or something. Some some other and the bullshit. Fact that they're trans as well. Yeah, that they, 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 they want to play that. You know, they're they're being victimized because they're transgender, all this and that. And I'm like, no, stop for a so, minute. But I think have you ever seen? Worse, hold on. I, have you ever seen those videos of those really big grinding machines that like can take anything and destroy it in an instance on YouTube? Yes. Yes. That's where they belong. Yeah, I agree, but that that's the thing is there's a huge there's a huge group Silox. that does yeah. that puts out You're the right hashtag save our sisk on like furry Twitter or wherever, and they're actively defending sisk. I like the 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 person the person actually pleaded guilty got on a sex offender registry and they want to go on the internet and tell everybody how no 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 that's all wrong what seriously what well i think it's even worse than that is one of them is advocating for the um, disbandment and outlaw of sex offender registries oh for fuck's sakes yes no, no. wait fuck what that. Oh, you didn't know that. Uh, well, yes. Was that in the uh, in the forum that I read? Yes. Oh my god. There so appar so apparently, court documents do not fucking count as evidence regarding somebody's status as a pedophile. Oh yeah, they said that. They did say that. And so I'm like, what the want, fuck? <laughs> they want people to come forward with evidence that Sisk is a fucking child toucher. But you can't provide court documents because you know the courts don't know fucking shit you know they that doesn't mean anything <laughs> okay all right cool what, what where am i am i on earth or did i did i get fucking teleported to goddamn uranus okay let me go tell the um let me go tell the judge oh yeah i can plead not guilty to all my all my speeding tickets because your court documents don't mean jack shit how can you speed in a kia soul Shut up. <laughs> Lifty, your car is terrible, man. It can't so go is that yours. Fast. Your it's car your, your car. car still has wind up windows. No, it does not. <laughs> my old car did, but my car is faster. Wait, wait, than your wait, car. wait, no, no, no. What what was it that was missing off your car? The chair. This the fucking <sighs> driver's seat. Oh god. <laughs> it's got like a folding chair. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Y'all some haters, man. <clears throat> anyway, okay, back to so, Sisk. So, um, yeah, it it just baffles me that people can even oh, uh, people can even get away with this shit in the justice system. Well, granted, this is the UK. However, wait a minute, was it UK? No, this is the United States. Oh, right, I'm thinking something else. You're thinking of Simba. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was. It was okay. I'm back on track now. Fuck it. Whatever country it's in, okay, they they think they can just go get away with it. In some countries you can, because fucking lawless as shit, like the Gambia. But, I don't know. This little bitch, dude, woman, thing, whatever the fuck, I don't care. The, the, the truth needs to be brought to light. And the motherfucker needs to be put away. Forever. Okay, I don't, I don't fucking like people like him. It. No, it, what's even what's even more funny is uh, just reading the tweet from one of the uh, Save Our Sisk defenders, which is uh, Carson Loring. Yeah, that's the one who's all anti sex offender registry. No, they're just they're not just anti sex offender registry. They're anti prison. They. Ew. They, they're um, they're advocating for shorter prison sentences. No. Can we so, please not do that? 
these are the people that would like to have their children go trick or treating, walk up to a pedophile's fucking door, get some tainted candy that has that was replaced with Rooflin. Kid fucking eats it or something right so then. So Carson there. Loring yeah. apparently yeah. wants uh Bill Cosby to uh, give out quaaludes at Halloween. Is that what is that what I'm hearing? Bill Cosby's innocent. <laughs> how, how about that, eh? Bill Cosby's innocent. Oh my god! It wasn't Bill Cosby. It was oh. fucking Fat Albert. Okay. Oh my the fuck? god! No, <laughs> that's the same. Oh my god! What? It fuck? was Fat Albert, man. You can't. <laughs> B- Are Bill... you high? No, I am as lucid as can be. <laughs> the thing is, Bill Cosby is America's dad. He can't do that. But fat Albert, on the other hand, is a fat fuck who could never find his dick. So he had a roofie everyone. This is great. Okay? That's how it happened. Oh, my God. So In I, order I know to get you're his beating, rocks off. But... No, no, no. But don't fucking... You don't censor me. Okay? Not. Just don't. I grew up with Bill Cosby. He touched me too. in places that no one ever else touched okay. me before. Okay. So, um, it, I I don't know how to respond to that. He um, touched my soul in oh, the naughty place. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Justin, so well, just, well, Justin just, Fairfax touched me in naughty places too. So it's so okay. just yeah, just going back to the whole thing. It's just it's it's. It's just, it's fucking wild to find, I've never seen such a concerted effort to create this, this campaign to, to convince other people that the courts, the justice system, the court of public opinion, uh, what witnesses have said are, they're all wrong. They're all wrong. And this person and this is coming from somebody that wants to abolish prisons that wants to abolish the death penalty that wants to that wants to abolish the sex offender registry that they feel like none of those things need to be necessary in, in this society and whatever what the fuck man i mean i thought it was bad enough when <laughs> when people were actually like covering for growly remember that yeah i remember that that was bad but this and now we got this worse. shit. This is this like we've is just got the actual world. shills for a sex offender. Yep. This is the world we live in, unfortunately. And if you don't like it, I got a nine millimeter right here. So. Oh my god. I, I'm. I'm not trying to be a. I mean, I am being a dick, but <laughs> the thing is, is that you can't. You really can't change anything. People want to start these rallies. People want to start these movements it's it's not going to change the fact that it already happened it's not going to change the fact that it's going to happen again with somebody else and i'm being real and i'm not trying to piss anyone off and if i do fuck you don't care thing is this is reality this is life it's just going to keep happening yeah that's just how life is unfortunately and also, uh, just a bit of an alert for any uh, furries that are in the uh, Denver area. Uh, Carson Loring has actually talked about bringing CISC to Denver, which is uh, mm-hmm. a, a large convention in uh, in Denver that happens every year. If you didn't catch on to Denver. You know, because... Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I gotcha. But yeah, um, Carson Loring has actually mentioned about bringing Sis to Denver. Of course, Sis has no access to the internet, no access to a computer um, as part of his uh, sex offender uh, agreement or whatever. And Sis doesn't have access to it, but Sis 1 does. Who? It's a fucking joke. You can just change your damn account name. So the police, <laughs> hold up, hold up. So the police, law enforcement, they can't just trace his IP back to his house? I'm going to let you know something. Most, m- most, what do most, you think, most methods of monitoring any criminal activity on the internet, for example, when someone has been barred from internet usage, it's very loosely enforced. It's hard to keep track of people's uh, access to the outside world because it's so 
easily accessible. I mean, a smart TV can get to, can get online these days. Uh, your PlayStation, your PS2, actually can get on the internet. If you have a phone line, you can get free dial-up. It's pretty easy to get past all of that. It's actually bizarre just how many people are... you can go to the fucking local library if you're smart and get on the internet. It's not that hard. Oh, (laughs) shit. Pretty true. That, you know what? It's real easy. Yep. So... But, you know, it's so bizarre that um, there are actually fans of Sisk. There are actually uh, people that want to meet Sisk at at Denver. Oh my God, molest me! And this is this is of course dating back to July 15, twenty nineteen. So it's not that <laughs> far back. Touch me in the places they oh, showed me online. No. Uh. This is horrible. This is horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you if if you're a fan of Sisk, you need to check yourself into a mental institution. You need I don't a vibe care. check. That's what you need. <laughs> you do need a vibe check with a brick. Oh God. Anyway. So that's that's Yo, the sh- that's the spiel on wild, Sisk. <laughs> um, Sisk obviously is a big is a big problem right now. People are well aware. Uh, if you're not, educate yourself. There's a humongous forum on it. Um, we can provide a link if you're curious. I'm pretty sure you'll just come across it in general chat. I mean, because it's it's a big it's a big issue. Um, the dude woman thing whatever you mean that form they're not gonna the, listen to that the shit because it's the shim shit yeah shit they no 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 shit because it's she he and it all in one. Oh my god so <laughs> it works anyway <laughs> i just want to put it out there that this does not represent our views towards all transgendered people just there, we are doing I'm this solely because thing. we don't like cisk and cisk is a is a pedophile who doesn't deserve rights so before Pedophiles i, do before not I get rights. hold on before i get enough hate mail because i already know i'm probably the least like character on this podcast it's fine before i get enough hate mail I yes that's lifty, but okay. the, no that would be me listen i I am totally fine with transgenders. I am totally fine with whatever else exists. I'm not very well educated on it because I'm a dude. I am a male. I have a penis. I identify as a male. That's fine. You can do whatever you want on your own time. I'm good. <laughs> you know, I, and, and the thing is, I'm very lax about the shit. I don't care. He is. But when this person, this human being, goes out there and says i'm gonna touch a little boy or touch a little a little girl and you can't hate me for it because that's called you know uh being that's that's victimizing me because i'm a transgender so you're not you you have no right they were actually caught they they were actually registered on the sex offender registry for actually being with sexual relations with a 16 year old child with a minor so we're so not gonna give this, this. We're not gonna give this person any slack. No, here. I'm also, not. Where our I'll, views, our views towards cisk do not represent all views towards transgender people. It is directly to cisk. He's not even I'll, human. Also, let me say this: I could give a goddamn about what the age of consent laws are in whatever state that he did this. I don't care if they were 16. The fact that you are a grown ass adult decide to go and have relations with a minor says a lot about you. So. Don't even try and say, well, age of consent 16. No, fuck that. You are an adult. You should not have relations with a child. That exactly. Is disgusting. You need yeah. mental and help. What even says even not more to be at is. A furry convention. Yeah, what says it, what says things even more is that you do all of that, and yet you, you, you start this campaign where. The courts are wrong. The court documents are wrong. Your conviction is wrong. Everything negative about you is wrong. It's in. It's untrue. All of that, and yet, you pleaded guilty. You got on the sex offender registry. You did this to yourself. So don't give me that bullshit. This is bullshit. If you, for those of you who are listening, you can easily look up the truth of every statement. 
and you can easily figure this out yourself. The the evidence is all there. Yeah, Everything the evidence is all there. Everything points to that he did it. Yeah. I mean, the dude pleaded guilty so that he could receive that so that so that sis could receive a lighter sentence. Pleading guilty they or not. Pleaded guilty. The thing is pleading guilty or not doesn't actually say that he did it. But if you really I've, look at I all believe the... that there was in irrefutable evidence against them. I'm not defending him. Oh, I'm not so, defending him either. The thing is if you look at all the evidence that's provided and we, like I said we will we'll post a link for you to, to look at all this yourself. I mean, and it's, also it's... Denver, I would be on alert for this person and also for Carson Loring because, of course, they are a pedophile. We don't want to. We, we've had this issue before where hey. pedophiles hey. go to furry conventions yeah, and everybody believes that they are getting a cover over their activities and everybody's just sweeping their activities under the rug. Yeah. I mean, if the Growly situation hasn't taught, you know, conventions already to stop allowing access to these um, con spaces by pedophiles, I don't know what will. So, if I can talk without being interrupted, Lifty. So, you fucking rude some bitch. I'm going to mute you. Okay? Do you want that? Damn. Little shit. I can get my blood pressure up so high. Anyway. You have the floor. Oh! You did it again! Hey, hey! Anywho. Let's move on. So, yeah. Sisk is a bitch. We all know this. <laughs> next next I topic. Was, I was, <laughs> hey, wake up. <laughs> Let's move on to a very oh, somber and sad fuck. topic. We, Fuck me, goddamn. We all know what's coming next. <laughs> get get your shit straight. God damn it. Uh, get get your me. get your sad face on, all right? The recent passing of the great Kobe Bryant. So, yeah, um so Saturday, um I along with Lifty, we were at a car show. It was Sunday. It was Sunday? Fuck me. Sunday, we were at a car show. Okay. Uh, hush you. We were at a car show, um, just enjoying stuff. So we were downstairs, and I believe... Steers. that's Yes, yeah, steers. <laughs> I was checking out a Cadillac Escalade, and I look over to this guy, and he says, hey, you know, he was he's on his phone, and he's talking to his kid. He said, yeah, you know, Kobe Bryant was in a... a, a a helicopter crash and I'm like I'm like nah that can't be right because you know he's been he was killed off by the internet like twice like by that one site that likes to post you know fake celebrity deaths so so and so died in a skiing accident TMZ no 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 it's one of those fake websites um and the it Inquirer. just gets no it, like it's literal fake website it gets ad, it's an, no it's an agitator I'll, I'll give you and I'll show it to you but um it's happened before ah you did again so I figured, okay, this is fake news. I'm going to go online and search for anything. So I pull it up, and the first thing I see is TMZ says Kobe Bryant killed in the um, uh, uh, helicopter crash. I'm like, okay, that's that's pretty fucked up. I'm going to wait until, you know, there's more sources. Well, they kept on coming and kept on coming, and before you know it, I see all the big major networks pick it up, and it's like, oh my god, he's actually dead. And it just hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, I was legit depressed that afternoon. Like, holy shit, I can't believe he's actually dead. Like, that was just crazy. Like, yeah, so I... You know what was really crazy about this? So the very same day and the very same time that his helicopter had crashed, I was in a plane. Yeah, yeah. I heard about that. Like, no, I heard, like, on some planes, like, people were, like, gasping on some yeah. planes when they heard No, the I wasn't in a... It was not in a commercial airliner. I was in a plane, a single-engine propeller plane with a friend of mine uh, who lives locally. We had witnessed we had witnessed a crash, 
at the uh, Chesterfield Airport in oh, in Virginia. It was a um, it was a plane that landed with its landing gear up. So and that's the second time he's done it too. Anyway, um, yeah. So it's kind of weird that we while we were up in the air, Kobe Bryant was crashing into a mountain. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. It, it's way to um, <laughs> this, yeah. <laughs> way to be reverent there, uh, I, IBM. I, I'm sad that it happened. Don't get me wrong. I, oh, I don't. Shit. I don't know the guy from Adam, and I didn't watch basketball too much. But yeah, I know he was a he was a, a great guy. Some you know, obviously some uh, some issues in the past, but yes, he, just the it just happens. Events, but um, yeah. his his charity work outweighs a lot of. Well, I don't know if it really absolves him for what he's done, but he's he's a human being that still was good at heart you know didn't have many uh you know malintentions but respecting his memory you know it it was it was just ironic that i found that this happened the very same time frame that i was in i was in the sky i was about seven thousand feet up had no idea it even happened until I got down on the ground. I'm like, huh. Ain't that some shit. <laughs> That's all. Oh that was my, my god. <laughs> that was my words <laughs> when I found out. I was just like, well, fuck oh, it. Oh boy. So yeah. yeah, no, it like I said, it hit me like a ton of bricks. Um I I'll preface by saying I'm those who know me, they know me as a huge sports fan. So I grew up watching Kobe Bryant and the LeBrons and the Michaels of the world. So um, I lived through Kobe's greatness, and watching him play on those Lakers teams was fucking amazing. Um, he got me into wanting to play basketball as a child. So You're too short. I know that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm too short for a lot of positions, okay? So I mean, for, that's well, why a lot of people just do missionary. Sports not <laughs> sexual oh, positions. Oh, I have that's to clarify a... that. Um, <laughs> but, no, his passing and... He, and I have a good question for you, though, actually. What's off up? topic. Do you have yeah. DSL? Is that like an internet thing? Yeah, sure. Oh Do you have DSL? God. Do we have DSL at the house? No, we have like 4G, I think. Because, I mean, you know, access. it sounds like you have DSL. No, we don't have Verizon DSL. Are you sure? Because those, yes, dick su- have, those dick we... sucking lips are really loud. It screams <laughs> DSL. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my goodness. What are D? Okay, I'm gonna look up what DSL actually is. So while he's doing that, of course, I was also at the auto show with Silox uh, when it happened, and I just like Silox, I did not believe what I was reading online. Um, I saw that TMZ was like the very first source where I heard about it, so I started looking up other sources, and they started flooding in with more details, and I'm like, oh shit. Like he actually passed away, and the what more the I fuck, read dude? about it, what? Really, that's what it means? That's disgusting. So anyway, so the more I read into it, the sadder the story <laughs> became. Because um, from what I understand, uh, Kobe was taking his daughter Gianna to a basketball game, and he was going to be there to coach her and also to basically watch the game and uh it's it just shows that after or in in his post baseball or excuse me post basketball life kobe was always wanting to be there for his kids for his family and actually um spend more time with his family be a family man not that's what actually that's what actually uh, a lot of people, a lot of people have uh, criticized him for taking a lot of helicopter rides, but that's the exact reason why he's taken so many helicopter rides. He wants to be there for his family. He doesn't want to spend time and waste time in and, traffic on the four hundred and five. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that, what prompted him to take more helicopter rides. So people here probably don't know if they're not aware of this, his 13-year-old daughter was in the helicopter with him. So Yeah, yeah Gianna, yeah. Along with a whole bunch of, along yes. with several other people. Like, so, 
Yeah, it's may was... may God rest their souls. Uh, they, you know, and it's it's tough for me to say anything because I don't. I mean, honestly, I don't know them. You know, I, I've I'm not keen on their career or what they've done, but human life should always be respected, so long as it merits res- respect. Sisk is one of those exceptions. Um, so, so, I'll just say one thing. Good move on um this shows just how precious human life is you're here for on average 70 to 85 years let's just say um some more most a lot of people less um use that time to connect with your friends your family what have you spend time with them because you can be here today and gone the next life is very precious and you don't know when the time's gonna run out so um yeah. God damn it. You... Okay. So. My bad. So. So. So, um, moving forward into another started. sports topic. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> I did, unfortunately. Silox, you brought up that Seattle now has a, a, a hockey team, and you want us to bring up suggestions for it (laughs) to name the team yes um so the nhl awarded seattle the 32nd um franchise of the national hockey league um i think a year and a half ago maybe two years so just now rumors are leaking out that they've chosen the name and the name rumored is um <laughs> is Krakens. So for those who don't know, <laughs> Why Kraken, the hell what, hold up, hold know. up, hold up. Why the hell would they name a uh why the hell would they name a hockey team after an uh, a hard liquor? Just out of it's curiosity. It's not it's after the fucking octopus you dolt octopi. But yes. Well they named the hard liquor after the octopus too. Octopi. Jesus fuck who gives a but shit? Yes. Whatever. Look, I'm just saying. They, this is no. This is bunch inappropriate. Of fucking weird. T- All of this is inappropriate. To name it after alcohol. <laughs> I mean, they have a, there's fucking baseball team named after Miller Lite. Like, what, what? What? What do you want? There's nothing. What do you mean? What do you mean they're named after Miller Lite? What name? The, one the team fucking that... Brewers are named after the Miller Lite Brewing That's Company. That's because the Brewing Company is based in Milwaukee. Okay. It's a big part of Milwaukee okay. life and culture and, and history. Okay. And what's wrong with Kraken? It sounds like it should be like a mascot for a fucking plumber. Release the Kraken. Show me all your Kraken. So I I vote to have the name of that little team renamed to the Smacking Lips. All okay, in favor say we're aye. Gonna, <laughs> we're not going to name it that, no. Um, okay, how about the Seattle Yuppies? Nobody, nobody says yuppies anymore. This is okay, the 1980s. Okay, the Seattle mil- Millennials. How about that? Oh, my fucking God. What? Did she say the yuppie? The Seattle Avocado Toast. Okay, you're thinking of Portland. Can, not, can, that's can, not Seattle. Hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Can okay, I float him down Seattle, a river? Then? Please do. I'm just... I'm going to put you in a body bag and then put you in fucking... Uh, you know what? Licking Hole River. That's where I'm going to put you. That's an actual river? Hi, yes. everyone. My name's Majira. Oh. Silox, oh um, can, you, um, can you look up Licking Hole River for me? Licking Hole River? What? Licking Hole. It's, yes. it's a river here in Virginia. It's a real river, Lifty. Yeah. Well, I prove it. I don't know it. <laughs> it's going to lick This coming hole. from the guy who thinks Herndon isn't a real place. No, it fuck isn't. you. No, it isn't. Okay, we're not doing this. Okay. Call them the Seattle Majiras and make Majira Strawberry the mascot. Hi, then everyone. Be... I'm Majira. Then it wouldn't be the Seattle Majiras. It would be the Seattle Strawberries, which actually, <laughs> that wouldn't be too bad. Lifty, if you there's think about nothing it. strawberry related there. Well, there's nothing Kraken related there either. Yes, there is. There are, there are octopi in Seattle, okay? Like what? There are octopi in Seattle. What the highways? That's in not the sound, octopi. Yes, yes. In no, the sound. no, no. I don't believe that. The Puget Sound. There are octopi there. I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, anything that comes out of Seattle, honestly, a a fucking uh, a, a, what is it? A baseball team? What yes. was it again? It was the a baseball Mariners. team. Okay, 
So a base a, a baseball team that comes out of Seattle, and they need a name for it, and name it a fucking octopi. Why don't we just uh, it, it, of all this shit that comes out of that <laughs> fucking state or anything out of Washington? Okay, look at look Washington? at the Vegas Golden Knights. They actually made it work really well. There are no knights in Vegas. Las Vegas has nothing to do with medieval uh, history or whatever. But hey, look at I that. Mean, Vegas Golden Knights. They made it work. Okay, well, that's them. Hold up. I'm saying they need to be this, more creative. Why are you creative. shitting on Washington? What is wrong with Washington State? What do you mean? Wait, say Washington. 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 What's wrong with Washington? Washington? What's wrong with Washington? What's, what's wrong? Motherfucker. Well, Washington State. What's wrong with Washington <laughs> okay, State? Okay, so every everything in the Northwest, the far Northwest, Washington. Okay. And of course, Oregon. Both yeah. of them fucking places are weird. Okay. <laughs> Portland, Oregon. They fucking apparently made something called the Spaghetti Donut. What? Yeah, I've heard about that. The what? Fuck, the fuck? The oh, so fuck? It's a donut. Where made, did they make the, the spaghetti. spaghetti Donut? What? In so, and then and then Ew. you got Washington apparently now wants to have a fucking baseball team named after a fucking well, octopus. NHL, they have a baseball team. But yeah. Look, there's nothing oh, weird about that. You said NHL. That. Well, I no, thought you were talking team. about the Mariners. But look, there's nothing weird about naming your team after large octopi. I think it's a great move, actually. But if I had to rename the team, call them the Washington Sea Salt, and Sea Salt can be their mascot. Oh, they're gonna get fucked. That's the whole idea. <laughs> so what's um? So well, actually, if we what, name them so the Washington you know how, Silox, you know how they have get um, even harder. Oh my god! So you know how they have uh, traditions about throwing things bottom. like um, I know the capitals. They throw they cook crabs uh, in the ice. Yeah. Some yes. people throw octopi on the ice. <laughs> so yes. if it was the Seattle Sea Salt, would you throw used condoms on the ice? Okay, oh. we're not yeah. going there. Um, uh, this is yes. a family friendly show. <laughs> bull, they bull would throw dill shit. dye on the ice, Lifty. Ew. Lots well, of dill dye. Throw be bad because bad dragons on there. You don't want to throw hey, that many used the condoms Seattle on the bad fucking ice because um, it'll, Seattle it'll, bad dragons. It'll clog up the zamboni. <laughs> it'll clog up the fucking zamboni. That thing is like expensive. Damn it. You know how expensive a Zamboni is? Fucking expensive. It's like seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, maybe I more. That's an expensive ass car. I can't with you right now. It's not that. what a Zamboni's not a fucking car. Do you know what a Zamboni is? Not you, not you. You're fine. What the? F- no, not you. What Lifty. I do? Lifty. Do you know what a fucking Zamboni is? Yes. What is it? It's a car. It's not a car. You. I've seen people in Duluth. Drive them on the road. It's, so, yes, fucking it's a car. Aloof. They're fucking idiots up there. That's different. No, it isn't. It'll, I will slap you. If you Google again. goes to Twin Ports. Shut up. You, seriously, Bruh, seriously. He was clapping so hard in that scene, too. Like a <laughs> fucking retard. <laughs> Do you seriously not know what a, what a Zamboni is? I know what a Zamboni is. It what resurfaces did? the ice on a oh ice my rink. God, you figured it out. Google is such a Jesus wonderful tool, Christ. isn't it? No, shut up. I didn't just, Google that. You, yes, you did. I Google fucking saw fiber. it. No, I didn't. Oh my god! Go Don't be a cunt. I'm say- no, no, no. I'm saying Seattle Bad Dragons. You can thank me later. I can't with you for that. No, 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 no. Why not? You know what you're doing. It's a lot better than oh Seattle Kraken. Don't make fun of octopi. Octopi are precious creatures. The fuck? They're God's gift to. They're not the even humans. real. Octopi are real. Not the fucking Kraken. Yes, they are. What do you think this is? Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that's what I think it is. Oh, my God. Look, if dragons are real, octopuses are real, too. Bitch. Y'all are some haters, okay? And you just a bitch. Look, I'm not the one shitting on Washington State. You know, there are lots of great things that have come from Washington State. Go ahead. Smack your lips. Kathy McMorris Rogers comes from Washington State. Okay, she's a cunt, but she comes from Washington. State. I don't even State. know who the fuck that is, so I don't Good. care. All right, Tom Steyer cut. No, wait, he's from California. Fuck, who <clears throat> comes from Washington? The Marineras come from Washington. They, they <clears throat> play baseball. Howard Schultz made Starbucks. Hello, and that's exactly why I hate that fucking place. Um, uh, overpriced God. fucking mud. Oh, Microsoft Windows Eleven. Where's it coming from? Washington. Washington State. Huh? Yeah. Xbox. Huh? 
Washington State. The Washington, that, that's exactly the Seattle why coders. it sucks. Huh? It's just, Washington State's an amazing place. Great place, great people, fun times. Then why the fuck do you live near Tech Baltimore? Bros. First of all, I don't live near Baltimore. I live in Southern Maryland. Second of all, Maryland's the best state in the union. Anybody who says otherwise will get their ass beat. Okay? So don't get it twisted. I will you fight said you, you, anybody. You, you were talking about the best state in the union, and you mispronounced Minnesota. How can you do that? Yeah, I've muted him because his opinion is moot now. Yay! I will... F- you know what? I will fight anybody who talks shit about Maryland. You know where to find me. All I gotta do is whip out my dick, and you're, just, you're gonna lose. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! We're not gonna <laughs> talk about that. Uh, Y'all are some haters, hating on fake ass octopuses and and Washington State. Octopussy. Octopi. But yeah. Well, I didn't. I didn't hear a good idea come from you. I told you, name it. Name it after sea salt. I mean that's oh, a good one. Oh, the Seattle sea salt. I still yes. I still vote for dick sucking. Uh, dick sucking lips. Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> I vote for Seattle Bad Dragons. That sounds like an XFL. Listeners, please chime in in the comments section what you think the Seattle team should I'm gonna be named and uh tell us if uh you like one of our names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna poke the NFL, the NHL, excuse me, and give oh, them the name no, Cecil, the Washington Cut Fucks. <laughs> yes, the, the bitch pigeons. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> who who said bitch pigeons? That was actually a uh, submission on one of those on one of the um, posts. Someone said bitch pigeons and created a logo and a jersey. <laughs> it's fucking great. Ah. <laughs> uh. Anywho, we are, uh, let me see, what is, what is our recording time currently? We're at an hour. Are we? Mm. Yes, we are. I guess we have a little bit of time to open it up for a general discussion of bullshit. So let me just say that I think Lifty needs a better car than what he has at the moment. Shut up. I'm getting a better car. Actually, soon, so hold on. Shut up. Let me, let me look up his Lyft reviews. I can look him up since I'm a Lyft driver as well. (laughs) I didn't drive for Lyft. Yes, you did. Anyway, I actually found a shirt that says Rain City Bitch Pigeons. (laughs) And it is so badass. I I want them to call it this now. (laughs) Why do you have a 3.2 rating on Lyft? I don't know. I don't care. Wow. I have a 5.0. I have a 0. Lifty. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. I don't drive for Lyft. They said <laughs> they said that your car smelled like old coffee beans. What? That's Rain what it said. Bitch pigeons. <laughs> I don't. I you know I don't give a fuck. Future of shit. Seattle hockey. <laughs> why, why are you getting so mad? Because none of that shit is true. Probably isn't. But for Yo. all you know, it is. Could get Rain City Bitch Pigeon shirts apparently for twenty dollars. Oh God, this kid is. <laughs> I'm gonna get one. Dead. You buy me one then. No, bitch. I ain't your slave. You might be. What the fuck? Why would the Echo Bot poke me? <laughs> Lifty. You played your J-pop again. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> That's oh, not funny. We told you to turn off your K-pop. That's not funny. Do you, you can't... Are you watching, are you watching Morimut again? Because that no. counts as K-pop now. What? No, what? K-pop. Oh, yeah, because he's like K-pop famous, apparently. Oh, my God. He does hot videos. Him and his like, girlfriend. Yeah, he does. Who is that again? Morimut. I don't I don't even know who that is. Is that is that a uh, fursuiter? Yes. Mori Mutt. Yes. Blaine. Mori? Like M A U. Like Mori. Like the, the M O R I. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can. Actually, whatever the fuck happened to Mangusu? You know who I'm talking um, about? No. Okay, so somebody helpful on, on Reddit actually demystified the origins of the name Rain City Bitch Pigeons. Um, apparently it was a, uh, it was the nickname for the Seattle Seahawks many years ago. 
What? I mean... He detected sound. Fuck. What did? Your Echo Bot. The hell? Stop! What's going on? I just I, wish I I just wish Las Vegas named their hockey team the fucking Flamingos. Okay, <laughs> he's counting down. <laughs> uh, that's probably oh, gonna you're that gonna hate series. you're gonna you hate that bot so much. I will. <laughs> it's on the level of Swifty right now from Arctic Dogs. I don't like it. <laughs> Can we name him that Swifty? Can we name him that? Please don't. Yes, please do. Oh, I know how to defeat him. I can just click the X and it'll reset itself every time. Fucking dumbass bot. You're not smarter than me. See, I'm super smart. I went to college, probably. I don't know. We'll see. You don't even know math. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what the fuck? Swifty kicked you. Fuck that bot. Did you die? <laughs> It's going to die in a minute when I find out where the fuck it is. It's in my server. Well, I don't like the bot. I know. It's racist. Oh my god. You're starting to sound like six, a sisk now. <laughs> fuck off. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my god. It would happen to anyone else who was echoing. If Lifty was sitting there dead keying and somebody was coming through his headset, it would kick him. It's already kicked him once. It hasn't kicked me because I have an ultimate true. headset. I was happy when Lifty got kicked. That made my day. How many times did you get kicked? Twice. I think you get... No, two. two, two. Nigga, why are you wearing that? Oh, my God. You can't use that word. Stop saying the N-word, Silox. Uh, That's oh, racist. Fuck you. That's my word. I can say that. <laughs> you can't, Lifty. Shut up. You can't say it either. I Who? can say whatever the fuck I want. I pay taxes. Fuck you. I pay taxes, too. I no, just yeah, did. with your I mom's money. Taxes. What the fuck? I will slap you. <laughs> I will slap you right in your penis. That's hot. What? He might like that. I don't know. Of course I like that. I like anything kinky. I do too. In in the in the words of a very special friend who might be watching this or might not be, uh, I am apparently a thirsty thought slut cunt bitch. Okay. I mean, at least I'm getting some. You fucking no life. I just want to know what a service top is. I I don't know. So <laughs> there, there's a there's a running joke about me in the in the fandom, and it's actually kind of funny. I, I I find it flattering that I'm actually something of a legend. Um, so <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna incriminate myself other than this. You know, apparently I am like the neighborhood bicycle. Everybody's had a ride. Okay, uh... I don't think that's a very flattering assessment. Oh, I think it is. I don't know how to respond to that. I've taken more V-cards than the fucking Uno deck. <laughs> what? I don't know how to respond to this. I'm just saying. I've... Yeah. I've been... Whatever! I don't. I don't give a shit. I have fun with my life. Whatever. It's my bullshit. Don't fucking judge me. Yeah, it's his life. Don't judge him. Lift Correct. Fuck. I'm sorry. You're one to talk. I'm sweetie. sorry. You're what was that? Talk. Your ass wasn't speaking loud enough. Maybe it wants to get a little closer. Shut up. I'm just saying. Hey, I call it like I see it. He want that. He knows what he wants. Oh, I know what he wants. Shit. And uh. Little Jackal knows what he wants to. Oh. <laughs> this is great. Is it alright, Lofty Boy? <laughs> what? You can drive that hamster car right over here. Shut up. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> I'm getting a Lexus. That's gay. <laughs> you should get a better shirt than that. A better what? I mean, a better car than that shit. What the fuck? Better car than what? Alexi. What's wrong with Alexis? Why'd you call me? I'm not lofty. <laughs> I know. There's only one lofty. Hey, anyway. So, we should probably close the stream. It's been kind of rambling at this point. We may have to redo it because this one was kind of poopy. 
No, we're not redoing this. Oh, part. this was fine. Okay, edit that part out then. But anyway, um, it has been a hot minute, and with that, um, it is time to say good night. Thank you very much for joining us for another exciting episode of Furry Frequencies. And if you do enjoy our podcast, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe on our videos on YouTube, and hit that bell for notifications so you get your daily do- or your weekly dose of <laughs> furry frequencies right as it happens and of course if you like our shenanigans please feel free to follow us on twitter at furry frequency and that's also the best way to uh reach us also if you want to talk to us and comment on us and uh lifty to... don't forget your daily dose of adderall that way you can focus better Why give me some adderall and then i'll focus better uh. anyway um Hi. this has been furry frequency signing off with lifty Silox. <laughs> I was like, are you going to say anything? And this is IBM. And we hope you have a great night. Thank you for joining us again. Have a great night. Fuck Good off, night. all of you little cunts. Love you.